uh, we want to talk about adding on factors. Now let's understand this story. Huh? It says a boat left Changi Jetty. So Changi Jetty is, is here. Changi Jetty is here. And go Pulau Ubin. So you went Pulau Ubin, right? Then after it sailed to Pulau Sokudu. Alright? And then another boat did what? Another boat went from Changi Jetty straight to Pulau Sokudu. Alright? So did they arrive at the same destination? Yeah. Yes, right? But is it the same road? Different. Different road, huh? Okay, now next thing. So this is a concept of behind adding of vectors. So we say that if I move from P to Q, it's the same if I move from P to R. Or I move from P to Q and then Q to R. Because the, f the starting destination and the final destination is the same. same. Okay? So we start and end at the same one. Now, so let us go through this. Now, if I say a boat move from P to Q, and then Q to R, it says it's a translation. Now, translation means movement. Movement from P to R. Now, I want you to take a look at this. Huh? Now, so, we say that P plus PQ plus QR will give you something. And what is that something? So, you want to note that if I move from P to Q, Q to R, if I look back at this, what do you have? P to Q, Q to R, you have actually P to R, right? So then, I use the example of interchange. Yeah, so it's like matrix, matrix, like a matrix, like 1 times 2, 2 times 3, then it's 1 times 3, right? The 2 and 2 must be the same. So this is basically the same idea, but then I, I, I use another way of explaining. It's something like interchange, alright? So for example, I want to go from Pongo to Raffles Place, right? There is no straight train to it. But what happened? I, I need to change at, uh, say, Queenstown. So, Pongo to Queenstown, I drop, and then I must uh, uh, board back at Queenstown, then to the first place. So, I cannot say Pongo to Queenstown, and then can I board at uh, Orchard? No, because Queenstown Orchard very far away. Right? So, it must, it must be the same. So, the idea here is must be the same. Okay, next. So, if, if, if it's the same, uh, then the final matrix will always be the first alphabet and the last alphabet. Okay, so it's like the same alphabet you can ignore or you can cancel each other, that kind of thing. And it only works for plus, there's no such thing as minus. Clear so far? No minus. Clear, yes, at the moment no minus. I'll tell you what to do when there's a minus. Now, so next. So if I say if PQ plus QR is equals to, if PQ is A, alright, QR is B. So PR will be PQ plus QR, so A plus B. So it'll be like that. Okay. So, then this is known as factor addition, okay? However, then we, we, we discuss a bit on this. Now, if I have A plus B vector, now this A plus B vector, if I can highlight, this A plus B vector actually is represented by this. Alright, so is, is this vector equals to the sum of A, which is here, plus, let's use another color, B, which is here. So let's give some number. Example, if this is 9, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, if this is 3, if this is 3, if this is 3, this is 9. Can this, if, if this is 3, this is 6, will this be 9? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or maybe I'm not sure. Let, let's give another example. Same example, but let's just focus here. Let's say I got a, 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 a right angle here. Yeah? So I say, oh, how to find this, how to find this A plus B magnitude? If this is a triangle, I have a right angle, I can straight away use Pythagoras theorem, right? So I say, oh, 3 square plus 6 square. Then my question is, is it 9 square? No, right? Now this is 9, this is 64. Is it 81? No, or lesser, or lesser. So we know it's not equal to 9. You understand? Yeah. So, so if I say these two vectors add together, the distance, which is the pink line, will be shorter than this and this add together, individual add together. Can you see now? Yeah. But there is a scenario where it is the same. Now, can you imagine PQ can move, can rotate, can, can move until PQR is a straight line. So in this scenario, PQR is a straight line. 
If this is three, this is six. Do you agree together is nine? Yeah. yeah. So, so then the idea here is this is only true when it is no not parallel. Cannot be parallel. If parallel, see? parallel, parallel, parallel. Oh, then it is the same. And of course, you must have the same meeting point. Huh? And the next keyword is it must be non-zero. So, for example, if this is zero, then six. This two will be six. So it will be equal in that sense. Okay, next. Now, so I want to go through addition. So I, I start. So if I have A E plus E C, it will be A C. Yeah. So we got same, huh? Now, uh, this one, B C D C plus B D. Oh, let's try, huh? D C plus B D. B D. B D. So what happens is I can actually switch these two around. Why? Why do I switch? Because I need the D is the same. It's the same. The D is the same, right? D is the same. So then when D is the same, then this is B C. Clear. Now next one. What happens if I have three vectors? Oh simple lah. I add two first. So if I add two, I will have A C. And A C plus C D then A D. Okay so far? Okay. Now what happens if I have four? Same thing lah. I do two. Then I do this one, then I do this one. Then I get C B. Okay. Now next question. Now zero vector. Now zero vector means if I go back from R back to P. So go back to the story. Yeah? So now I, I, I move from P to Q, Q to R. What if R back to P? I come back again. So this is called zero vector. So it's represented by zero. Huh? Zero, nothing. Or it's PP, or it's zero. Remember to add zero because it's zero vector. PP means I start at Pulau. I start at Changi Jetty, I end at Changi Jetty, I didn't go anywhere. Okay. okay, next. Now, what happens if it's a subtraction? So, my question to you is Do you still remember AB? Yeah. And if I change it to BA, what must I do? I must have a minus sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what happened? Oh, I think it added a pitch. Okay, let, let me go back. Uh, let me go back. I, I accidentally clicked uh, add a pitch, so you went to to add a pitch. Right, okay, we are here. I, I want to use the okay. So, so back, uh, back, uh. So if I have A B, we say that A B is equals to B A. But no, not true, right? A, B is not equal to B, A, right? Oh, but I need to have a yeah, negative. Nine. So once I have a negative, I can change to B, A. Yeah. Okay? Now, so let's try this concept. I'll make sure it's concrete. Means it's sinking to you. Huh? Let's say I have C, D. Is it equal to D, C? No. It must have? Nine. Minus. Nine. Of course, the minus can happen both ways. Can happen here, can happen here. It's the same. That's right. Huh? Let's say I have x, y minus, what does it equal to? Uh, plus? Uh, yeah. Wrong. If yeah. I change the plus to minus, minus to plus, y, x. Yes, I will have y, x. That's what it means. Mm. Let's try again. Let's say I got pq. Is this equal to qp? No. How much I have? Minus. Oh, minus. Let's say I have m and and this is negative. Now I change to positive. What will happen? And and, and, and. So the idea is you can change yeah. the, the plus minus sign. You just have to flip the, the, the alphabet. Now let's start. Now, first thing, this question, let's read. It says that it has a parallelogram. So parallelogram means I have equal length. This is same length, this is same length, this is one line, this is one line. Okay so far? And I have of course, the parallel sides. Okay. Now, so if a vector is parallel and equal length, are they equal? Are they equal vector? I repeat. If a vector is see, ah, if a vector is equal length, equal length, yeah. ah, and both are parallel, are they equal vector? 
Yeah. Yes. So we say that VC is equals to O oh, A. Very good. Can you name one more vector that is equal? B O equals B A. Very good. Is O B equals A C? Yes, very good. So you understand. Okay, now come back to this. So if I want to know BC, BC equals to what? BC. Oh, okay, lo. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Now CA coming down, right? Yeah. If going up is V, coming down is? Now what is AB? AB must be A something plus something B, right? Yeah. Mm. So. This one, if I break it up, it will be A something plus something B. So what? A, A o, o plus o B. o B. Now I can also have another one. A, A B, C plus B, C, B, C, B. Okay, now let's try. Let's try to see whether the answer is the same or not. Huh? Because uh, AO plus OB is done for you. Now, what is AC? B, not 6. Huh? B. This is vector B. So, this is B. What is CB? A. A. Wrong. See, BC is A. A. CB is? Negative. A. Negative. A. Hey, for you, huh, your homework. You never draw the arrow, eh? you need to draw the arrow, okay? Yeah. So you see that the answer is the same? Same? Yeah. Okay, good. Now what about BA? B to A. So it must be B to A. a. B plus B something plus something A. B B C plus C A. Another one is B, B O plus O. Clear? Now another way of writing it is I can say oh B A must be the opposite of A B right? So A B I already have minus A plus B. So I just put net minus bracket minus A plus B. So how? Next. So let's try. What about P R plus R Q? Now you notice here there is no diagram. In fact you don't need a diagram. What you need is the in between alphabet must be the same. Then I can add. First one, do you agree? Yeah. Good. Second one? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Third one? I have Q, I have Q, I have Q, I have Q. Why cannot add? But cannot. Bacon not in between. Not in between. So no solution. Understand? Good. Next one. Homework, ah? Homework. I think we'll finish. Do layer. Do layer. Okay, next one. Now, if I want to express everything in A, ah, let's look at A. A means from here to here. This is A. So B, is it equal to A? Yes. Now another way of looking at it is, oh, I hear I climb two steps to the right. I walk two steps to the right. And here I climb four steps up. So here is it two and four? Yeah. Yes. So B is equals to A. Yeah. Now what about C? What about D? D there's no answer. You can add a B. B. Yeah. Add what B? You mean A go there B go there. No. A go this way, B go the same way. So if I have A plus B, you will become A is here, right? A is yeah. here. Balik. Okay, nah. 
uh, A is A is already here. A is already uh, here. B yeah. is extension, right? Yeah. Ah, so A plus B become A plus B become two A. Yeah. Is it equal to D? Do you have to pick up no? It's your Facebook. D is this way, right? So D yeah. got nothing to do with A plus B. No, nothing. So far okay? Okay. So is there anything that you can do to get D? No. No, not at the moment, huh? Not at the moment. So so far so good? Yeah. Okay. Now what are E? You agree it's 2A? Yeah. F. Um. Yeah. Okay, good. Next one. Now, so if I have 2A, 2A, it means it's a vector that is 2 times of A. A. And in the same direction of A. If minus 2A, still twice, but opposite direction. Okay, next. Now, uh, here are you are you in class already? Yeah. Yes. So you still need me to go through? Yeah. But the video actually got corrupted. Again. Yeah, again. So never mind I just run through. No, I just run through, I know already. I just run through like that, but we don't talk. Yeah. So that they can copy down first, then we can discuss later. But this is a very important concept. You understand parallel vector? Yeah. Okay, good. Then after that, we went on to question, right? Yeah. And then after that, we went on to question and then we stop here, right? Okay, so then we continue tomorrow. Yeah. Did we stop here? Yeah. Oh, we stop here. Okay, la, can. then we continue tomorrow. Okay? Yeah.